Hello everyone and welcome to another passionate vlog. I'm Kelsey and we're just gonna get right into it, okay? I got some stuff to do today. Okay, first of all, we have some mail to open up and I'm gonna start with this one. I know what it is. It is from Joanne, of course. This was a silly order because I bought this before I looked through my stash so I don't actually need this yarn, unfortunately. I've purchased three Lily Sugar and Cream yarns in the color Jute. That's because somebody ordered a top in this color and I was like, mm, I don't have any of that color. So I bought three of them and then I actually looked at my shelf. It was literally on my shelf and not even in a box. And I had three of them. So that's my fault, 100%. But, I mean, I'll use it at some point eventually, for sure. I think it's mainly because I didn't know the color name. I just heard jute and I was like, I don't know what that is, so I probably don't have it. When in fact, it is really just like a really tan, light brown, simple. I definitely have this. Next, we have this package. It is a heavy, heavy boy. It's from You Pack and Ship, which is where I buy all of my little baggies. And these always come like crazy fast in the mail. I'm, I'm always surprised. Okay, yeah. So I bought more of the tiny bags because people have been buying a lot of smaller items like scrunchies and bandanas just by themselves. So I bought more of these and they got here just in time because this is all I have left. I only have four of these little pink rainbow ones. So I got more and I got a new design. Every time I buy bags, I always buy a different design because it's just so fun when I'm packing orders. They do sell plain colors if you want that. But this one has flowers with little smiley faces and peace signs in them. So, very cute. This is the six by nine inch bags. And I got a hundred of them. I think this is like, it's $3.99. I just looked it up for a hundred of them. $3.99, so beautiful. And then the other day, whenever I was packing up a gray colored knit hat, I was like, um, I don't have any masculine presenting bags. So I bought these, even though they're not like super guy-esque. They're just not pink and or flowery, which is what all my other bags are. I've had these bags before and I really, really liked them. So I was just like, I'm just gonna reorder this one. Last time I got them in the six by nine size. And then this time I got them in the 10 by 13. So it is white and marble and it's like cut, cut out. So I just thought these would be fun to have around because like, I kind of like to match the order vibes to the bag because it's just fun when you get it in the mail and you see it's in a cool bag, you know? So if someone orders something that's like black or gray or you know, like a dark purple or something like that, I would just, I would love to put it in this bag. Anyway. Like I said, this is the 10 by 13. This is a hundred pack and this was $7.99. So speaking of orders, we do have some to pack. So this is an order for Shannon in Tennessee. We've got two light pink scrunchies and two of the maroon scrunchies. This order is for Ashley in California. She's got two mint scrunchies. This 
this order is for Jessica in Washington. We've got two mint scrunchies and a 100% wool beanie that I made. Obviously, I mean, I made all of this. This is for Blanca in California. We've got two emerald green scrunchies, two light pink scrunchies, and two medium pink scrunchies. for Marlene in Austria. We've got this nice cotton bandana. Last, this is for Samantha in Washington. Two mint green scrunchies and two emerald green scrunchies. So I tried something like slightly different. Usually I pack one by one, but this time I packed and I wrote the order number on the front of it. So now that they're all packed, I'm gonna go through, weigh them and measure them and put the shipping label on it. I just thought it would be better. It's probably not. Really, I just wanted to film packing the orders over here in the nice lighting instead of over here like I usually do things I do for you. Mm -hmm. I don't think that was any faster. Okay, so now that that's done, I want to show you guys this gift that my mom bought me and I was thinking we could try it out together. So it is a professional hand care hand massager. Yesterday I just filmed um, how many scrunchies can I make in a day, so I was crocheting all day long yesterday. My hands are okay, but before I start making anything today, why don't we just, why don't we just pop this baby open? Hmm? She gave this to me on her birthday of all days. She gave me a present for her birthday. plug in or is it battery I'm wondering like like you put your hand in there yeah but like that's a lot of room is it gonna like is it gonna squish me I wonder if I need to charge it it comes with a little cord and a port so or maybe it's like pre pre-charged I don't know it also comes with this little roller thingy Oh, it turned on. Okay. Oh. It's closing. It's... It is closing up. Is my hand supposed to be in there? 
Wait, wait, hold on. Okay, let me, let me read this. Don't wear jewelry. It is forbidden to use for a long time. The massage time should not exceed 30 minutes. Okay, don't use while driving. Don't put sharp objects in here. Don't use with wet hands. If there's discomfort in the hand, stop using immediately. Okay, power key on and off. There's a velocity key, it has five gears. There is a function key that has three gears. And then there is a mode key. Put your palm in the center of the massage cushion. Long press the power switch. The machine starts. The force is one gear at this time. The massage mode is the first and the function is number four. If the massage strength is not large enough, you can adjust the force button to find the right gear. If you need to turn on the heating and vibration function, oh, heating, okay, okay. My hands are always freezing. If you need to shut down, press the power button. When the product is charged, the function key indicator flashes from left to right. Okay, so I guess we'll just turn it on. It said hold on it. Okay, it's going. Am I being squished? Okay. Yeah, it's like, it's like yeah. <laughs> it's closing in on my hand. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm being squished. Oh. Yep. Ow. Not ow. Doesn't hurt. It's just squishing me very thoroughly. This is interesting. So, I mean, it's pretty much just like inflating and deflating over and over again. It goes on your fingers, it squishes for a couple seconds, and then it deflates. And now it's going on my my palm, inflating, squeezing, and then it's, it's going to deflate. Yep. Shall we try out the other functions? Let me, let me see if I can turn on the heating. No? No, that's velocity. What's going on? Mode key? Ah! No, no, no. That's, that's too much squish. It's vibrating. Oh. 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 Ooh. Mm -mm. No, thank you. The vibrating is throwing me off. It's, it feels really weird. Hi. Hey guys. How you doing? I think that's I think that's good for this hand. I feel squished. Hmm. I mean my hands don't hurt right now. It didn't get hot at all, which was sad. Let's let's do the other hand a little bit. Hmm? I wish that the booklet was more explaining. Because I don't know the difference between the velocity key and the mode key. Like the velocity, would it just go faster if I turned it up? But what does the mode do? Vibrating is honestly so much. Okay, so now it's getting warm. So I think that the vibrating and the warm go together. How's your day going? I think this would be really nice on a day where I feel like I have cold and stiff hands just to like wake them up before I were to start a project or something, but I don't think I needed it today, you know? All right, well, I think that's about equal, so. Whew. It's deflating slowly. Definitely interesting. Could be useful. Well, now that my hands are all warmed up, I have one order to make currently, and that is 
a custom sized top. We are making a River Dahlia top in this overcast color. I think that making this top is gonna take me like pretty much the rest of the day. I mean, honestly, for sure the rest of the day. I didn't start recording early this morning. It's already 4.45, so. And this is the first cup that I'm working on. I would really like to finish it tonight. I don't really want it to go over into tomorrow, but we'll let fate decide. Just ponder these distracting YouTuber cameos that made you go, I know that voice, and turned you into that Leonardo DiCaprio meme. I am getting really close to finishing this custom order. It will be done soon. It's 7 o'clock. It's been taken a while, a while, but here it is. I'm just doing the outline and the straps right now, but yeah. Um, Smosh posted a new Reddit story video today, so I'm going to be watching that and getting this done. And then I will be good on orders for the time being. And then I can do whatever I want. Oh, I love that place. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it's taken this long for us to be on an episode together. I finally finished the top for the order. It looks a little, you know, it's hard to hold up, but there it is. So now I'm going to pack the order, get it out of the way, off my list, and then after that, I think maybe I'm going to start a beanie. The costume, but he's like, You're stupid. We met in college and she'll drive to the house with all our stuff, and I'd carefully bring the vase to make sure it wasn't damaged in all the other boxes. I'm the house in some... You're a criminal. <laughs> I vacuumed up any trace of the ashes road and the oh. of the base half with heavy traffic on the highway and that's why I was late. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to start a beanie. I don't think I'm going to finish it tonight, probably, but I was just looking at my yarn shelf behind me and I spotted this color. It's kind of a orangey brown. It is super old, okay? I got it from my grandma's cousin. She used to crochet a lot, and then she moved on to cross-stitching at some point, and she just had like a crazy amount of yarn. I'm talking like around 50 storage containers of yarn, and I got a lot of that yarn. So it's been a few years, and I'm still trying to work through it, but look, look here see if it's got a date on it somewhere. I don't see a date. So I'm just gonna do the same double-stranded knit hat that I've been doing recently. And I've got a tutorial on my channel if you're interested. But I think uh, this is just gonna be like a casual project. Well, hey there, friends. Good morning. It's tomorrow. This is how far I got into my knit hat last night before I went to sleep. I think it's pretty good progress. So I think I can finish it up pretty easily today. We also got an order while we were sleeping yesterday. So this order is for Shelby in Idaho. Shelby got a bandana and two scrunchies. I love this color. This color is 10 out of 10. I'm gonna package this up right now because I think I'm gonna be leaving the house because maybe I need to do a little bit of yarn shopping, but also I wanna take all of these orders to the post office so, you know, they can get, they can get mailed. Our thank you card. We've got our bandana. we got two scrunchies. All right, that's 
done. Okay, I have two whips right now. We have this hat. Yeah. But I also want to make a scarf with all these granny squares that I made from that skein of granny all in one square yarn that I had. So I started stitching them together because I want to make it into a scarf. So maybe we can finish this today, both of them. I think I'm going to put priority on the scarf because I would like to make a TikTok with it. You know, content comes first and I don't have any scarves on my website, but I have a few hats on my website. So first thing I'm going to do is connect all of them, all 15 with the black granny stitch outline. It's gonna be a thin scarf. I, th I think after I connect them all, I'm gonna do another round, like around all the edges of granny stitches. At least one, maybe two. Maybe I'll do like a row of granny stitches all the way around and then a solid row of like single or half double crochets or something like that. I wanted to make it too wide, but um, I don't have enough squares and I only bought one skein of this, so I'm not gonna buy another one. I could, but all of the squares are already made, so I'm just gonna use them up. It's gonna be interesting though, because I feel like if I use, I'm gonna use all 15 squares, so the scarf is gonna be like mega long, but if I did them double wide, it would be too short. So like, I'd rather have a super long scarf that you can wrap around your head like three times than a short scarf any day. I, I love long scarves. So, Yes, I need my six milliliter and I have my black yarn. So I'm just gonna get to granny stitching. I've never made a scarf that was like one-sided technically, you know? I'm not flipping my squares. So I guess all of the, all of the back sides are gonna be on the back, but I don't have any knots sticking out or anything, so. It's not like a crochet expert is going to buy this. Most people can't tell between the front and the back. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm just, I'm thinking too much. I finished connecting all the squares. Oh, okay, <laughs> so here's what it's looking like. I got it done um, honestly faster than I thought, so I'm happy about that. I still have the yarn connected, and now I'm going to go all the way just around the edges and do another row of the granny stitch. So that shouldn't take very long, I don't think. I think the scarf is like seven feet long or something like that. Done. All right, so I finished the scarf. Here it is. I measured it and it is actually nine feet long. So there's that. But you know, it's good actually. <laughs> yeah the bottom. This is great. What do you think? Now that that's done, I'm going to go through, I'm going to edit all the pictures that I took of it. I'm going to put it up for sale on my website. I'm going to edit the videos that I took of it, make a TikTok, post that. And then we can start working on this hat. But also we're going to be leaving soon to go lunch, yarn shopping, and drop off packages. I got everything posted. I got my bag of stuff. <laughs> now we're gonna go eat, we're gonna go shop, and I guess I'll bring this to work on in the car. Can we get it how we used to get it? Sir. 
Holy fuck. I came here to get um, black yarn. No, nope. I came here to get black velvet yarn for scrunchies. That's what I just said. It's on clearance. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe they make pants out of that. No, they. That's not. There's a twenty-five percent off sale. Must be it. Oh, never mind. The fuck would you make out of this? Just, just, just. Your battery's about to die. Say your final goodbyes. See you when we get home. No, they changed Chuck E. Cheese! They changed it! They changed it! <laughs> all right, we're home now. I did remember to drop off all of my packages, so that's great. Here is exactly what I got at Joanne. I got two of these Juicy Couture Velvet Yarns because they were on clearance. It's a white cream color. Color name is Angel, but it was on clearance for $5.97. Normally it's $9.99. 3.5 ounce Juicy Couture. Yeah, normally it's $9.99. Online right now it's on sale for $6.99, but this was in the clearance section for $5.97 So I mean it was only like a dollar less I guess and It's pretty much sold out on the Joann's website. There's only like one color left. Anyway I got two of those. I got Black Bernat Velvet, which is the only thing I went to Joann's for That's because I wanted to make more scrunchies with it and then also uh, somebody that my mom works with they asked for an order of black scrunchies, so I need to make those. I also bought this color of Bernat Velvet because I'm gonna make scrunchies with it as well. I already made scrunchies with this, so I already have like photos and a listing ready for it, so. Also, I just like this color, so I thought oh, I'll just buy it, because it was on sale. All of the yarn was 25% off today. And then I bought a skein of Red Heart Super Saver in black. You can never have too much plain black yarn. Also, since I have quite a few skeins of the Granny Square yarn, I want to make sure that I use a matching black if I'm gonna be connecting Granny Squares. It was necessary, it was a necessary purchase. Cause I really wanted to make a sweater with this, but if I make the squares, I think I'll only have enough squares to make like the front of a sweater. So I need to make a back and also sleeves. Maybe I should have bought more of these. I probably definitely should have bought more of these, but regardless, that's all that I got from Joanne. And I spent a total of $35. So that's not bad, I don't think. This is how much of the hat I got done while I was in the car. I think we're getting pretty close to closing up the top, so I think we can finish this in the next like 20 minutes. It's 5.45, so it's getting dark outside. Finished. Now that that's done, I'm happy with it. I'm gonna leave it over here so I can take pictures of it and post it for sale tomorrow. I think that I'm gonna spend the rest of my night just crocheting granny squares. It's getting kind of late, I'm a little sleepy. And um, after I posted the TikTok, Instagram reel, YouTube short of my granny square scarf that we finished earlier, a couple of people asked me to make a tutorial for it. So I think that's a good idea because I've been wanting to make a tutorial, but I didn't have any fresh ideas. So I'm just gonna make a tutorial for the scarf. And yeah, so in order to 
help myself in the future. I'm just gonna start making the granny squares now. I'll probably be moving into my boyfriend's room as well because I think he's gonna be playing some video games. And so it's, you know, it's basically just like a, a live stream for me. <laughs> See you around. I can't go in there, can I? Why would you show me badges if I can't loot them? Okay, cool. So that that's done. I'm about like halfway through the skein. I've finished eight squares. Caesar fought a dragon. And I'm now gonna have some nighttime cereal. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do today is pack an order that we got earlier around eight o'clock. This is for Jason in Ohio. And I sold this gray knit beanie that I made. This is the one where we used up all of the yarn and then it was like solid gray at the top. Very happy. This one is just like a regular length beanie. There's no folded up brim or anything like that, so. Beanie. I really wanted to get these squares done tonight, but it's already 11.30, so I don't think that'll be happening. This game is working out really well. I'm not having to frog very often, and it's just, it's nice. I like the colors. This is the soft white amethyst colorway. I'm looking at it and I'm like wondering, it says soft white amethyst. I'm wondering if I like used red heart white if it's gonna match up with this white or not. Anyway, that's actually where we're going to end this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. If you made it this far, give this video a thumbs up because if you made it this far, you obviously liked it. I don't know. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.